Hi, and welcome to this video presentation using Kaber that starts now.
as you know, you saw the presentation, and from the AI animations, uh, this is it, Kyber, kyber.ai website, and pretty much as stated, make your imagination real, transform your ideas into the visual stories of your dreams with our state-of-the-art AI generation engine. Sign up the email, get started. They have a Discord channel. However, uh, when <coughs> using their AI animation, there'll be a web user interface. So again, they do have a Discord, but your uh, prompts and animation will be using the web UI. So as you can see, your own images, direct your music videos, and uh, unleash and get started. <clears throat> A little quick here on the portfolio. Lincoln Park used the uh, Kyber AI along with Kitty. How it works. Pretty much uh, pretty intuitive in minutes. Step one, upload initial file. Step two, direct your vision. Step three, adjust your settings. Step four, select your starting frame. And five, download your video. I'm not going to go too much into uh, these, pretty much self explanatory. And these are frequently asked questions. So let's go over. I create a video with Kyber. What are my rights? If you're using the free account, you're generating a common non-commercial 4.0 attribution international license which means that you'd be able to use the image as long as you don't sell them or make money off them as long as you give credit attribution to kyber if you pay for your account your creation is yours and you have commercial rights how long does it take to <clears throat> render videos great question here uh it takes up to 30 seconds to generate your style previews and final videos can take minutes to hours depending on the length it takes very long because we are asking the AI to generate multiple frames per second. We're working on a solution to shorten this. Will my video have the Kyber watermark and logo on it? If you have a free account, your videos will be generated with the Kyber logo watermark. The credits. One credit equals one second of video, which automatically adjusts when you change your video duration settings on the creation page. Pretty much you can buy more credits. So $1.50 equals 100 credits. To my credits roll over each month, yes, your credits will roll over each month. And then it just says, please know, you must have a standard paid account to have watermark free videos. So if you uh, earn, bought additional credits with your standard paid account, but then downgrade to a free account, your videos will revert to having a watermark. Please get in touch if you're experiencing any issues. You can also refer to their Discord uh, for further assistance. Um, why do I need to pay for AI videos? Pretty much you know, require a huge competition, uh, competing power, which is expensive. So, et cetera, et cetera. Want to unlock more credits for free? Then you can pretty much join their, um, share their videos, referral links, etc. Um, so that's pretty much the FAQ questions of how it works. Going to have a free version. And here is their yearly, their pro, and, and then they have the monthly. So, the, again, the free. With anything with free, they will have the watermark. With the paid, obviously, watermark removed. You can either do monthly or yearly. And then they have their credit packs, as stated. And... All right, after logging in, uh, you'll be shown the Kyra beta. Um, create video. Um, I have these credits shown. And once you hit the create video, obviously, you begin this. Um, you can add in or upload a picture. Or you, obviously, you can put in some music. Once you click this, it'll direct you over to trimming a video. Right here. Trim your settings. I'm not going to go too far into that. Um, so right now, we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> upload a uh, picture. Okay, cool looking samurai. And I'm um, also gonna add in <clears throat> background music. All right, from there, we go ahead and click the prompt. And just for purpose of this quick tutorial, I'm just gonna do 
in a secret garden. I mean, you can put in a secret garden with the sun set in background, kind of like that. So, um, sunset. I'm gonna do a little action here. Rising for, for something of action in the background. For the purpose of this, you can do any other ones. You can either use these as starting inspiration. Um, you can go ahead and even ask ChatGPT for assistance and go from there. Many creative ways. Um, for the purpose of this tour, I'm just going to go ahead and do this one. Um, styles is very important. So they have already some little default options you can pick. Oil painting. Um, even shows it to do elegant oil painting with gold leaf patterns, intricate enlightenment, highly detailed art, Nebu. Cinematic, it's already preset. Probably stick with cinematic there. Looks nice. Three to render. Steampunk. And black and white. So we're going to go ahead and pick this art nebu, and you can add other ones. So I'll just say you could add a uh, feel of that, for instance, and you could do um, art by MC Escher for the purpose of this just randomness. You could do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those, but you could add in those. But for now, purpose of the tutorial here, go ahead and continue settings. As presented, what I was explaining, uh, showing in the presentation is the different um, settings. When the audio is not shown, I'll show you. Um, there's more options, but since we have the audio enabled, it's pretty much set at a time of whatever the audio that you had set at. Um, but these are the zoom in, zoom out, pretty much self-explanatory here. But make sure you enable this. The evolve is important because do you want it closer to your initial image, which was the picture of the samurai that we had shown, will be zero. If you really want the next frame, keyframe frames to generate closer to your initial picture, you'd want this. If you want to be really wild and just random to the max, you pick 10. We don't know what you'll get. It'll be a random surprise, and <laughs> that's how it is. Um, for the purpose of this, I want to kind of stick to what I had initial image for the purpose of this demonstration, just to show. And then the audio reactivity is pretty interesting. It pretty much says the lower equals camera moves less with your audio, higher equals the camera moves more. So within the, depending on your music, right, each of these subsets... I went over to the back to the music part. Um, it will pretty much take an action of the beat of the drums or the sound of the noise. So that's pretty interesting. I'll just leave it as default six. I think that's a fair value. Um, but I want to quickly go back quickly to show you that if I don't select the music video, I'll get more options in the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly show you that for the purpose of this. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the audio. We're going to go ahead and continue to the same prompt. Pretty nice that you can just get back. To and now, since we don't have the audio with the time beaten settings, we notice we have two other settings here. We have the time limit here, right? Default three seconds, right? I'll just do the purpose of this is 10 seconds. And I just wanted to, sh but I wanted to show the audio options there. Um, and then if you enable the boomerang, so pretty much you'll play the video forward and backwards and then that's what we're getting in the presentation I was kind of showing. So let's go ahead and enable that. But for the purpose of this, since in the demonstration presentation, um, I want it to go, let's do left to right. We're going to go up, down, left, right, and let's go from there. Stack, obviously stationary. So I could do that as well. So I'm just going to go on left to right, and we're just going to do a quick 10 second video, and again, um, we have those predetermined settings, I have zero, 
and the audio is removed because I removed the audio. I just wanted to show you that for purposes. And let's generate. So it shouldn't take too long to generate. It's pretty pretty quick, which is nice with Kyber compared to um, other AI generative renderings, or even for those that have experience with Stable Diffusion, um, Google Colabs. Um, the <clears throat> control net, the other stable diffusion plugins, etc., etc. Um, I know that when I was experiencing using Google Colabs with different plugins such as Disco Diffusion, I mean, it would take hours and hours depending on what you're doing. But you know, but again, just to show that this is live. Um, using the web UI here and um, hopefully it shouldn't take too long and it's nice that it does I forgot to mention it does show that the credits that were used up I did I forgot to mention that so all right we'll get back to when this is done all right we're back and it's live as you can see from the prompt Secret Garden with the sunset rising in the background in the style of an elegant oil painting with gold leaf patterns, intricate enlightenment, highly detailed art nebu. So this is what we have. Let's go ahead and create another one. Pretty cool, huh? So you can um, upscale the video, but it's going to take credits here. So I'm going to quickly show you that. You can download the video. And you can share the video to um, link there to other social media talents there. And refer a friend. Yeah.